Hey guys, hope you're having a nice Saturday. It's a lovely day, although it's very windy. This is my sixth or seventh take on this now. My fan has been blowing down, my iPad's been blowing down, so I'm gonna try and get through this as fast as I can. So as promised, I have a, a, a workout, which is a core workout, and I have a second one, which I'll explain in a minute. So the core workout is in the EMOM, so every minute on the minute, and this is gonna run for 20, 24 minutes. You will do one exercise, and then the next minute you'll change, you'll do that for a minute, then you'll change, and the next minute you'll keep changing. So you get to the bottom, then we start again. So you'll do four rounds of each exercise. So the exercise is hollow hold is the first one. So we've done this before this week. So from there, the hollow hold, we're gonna bring our shoulders off the floor. From there, bring the knees in. Hold it there if you want to. This is the easy version. The actual hollow hold is straighten the legs, hands above your head there, and just hold that position. The next one is the side plank pass throughs. So from there, you're gonna get into your side plank position. Push those hips up. Reach through, pass through there, then up towards the ceiling. So reach through, then almost towards the ceiling. Pull the sky if you're doing it outside. The next one is the V-sits or the V-ups. So the V-sits, so we start with our body nice and straight there. Fingertips, toes touching the middle there, like this. If you can't do that, just crunch in like this. These are your V-ups. If you really struggle with that, use your hands as well to support you. Next one is hollow rock, so we get to that hollow position again. So remember, light black. Shoulder blades off the floor, bring the knees in, straighten the legs now, hands above your head, and you're just going to rock in that position. Holding that hollow, that core nice and strong there. Next one is butterfly sit up, so you're going to bring your feet in, like this. Then all you're going to do from there is lie back, touch behind you, touch your toes in front of you. I'm so glad that banner hasn't fallen down on my head. To there. And the last one, and this one is called plank hand walks. So you're going to get into your plank position, we're going to walk out from here, hold that plank, walk out, one, two, three, four, five, six, walking back in, two, four, six, then back out again, four, six, and then back in. When you get to the bottom, you go to the top, you go through again, every minute on the minute. Do this in two takes to explain the second workout. Okay, so the second workout is um, a hero wad, hero workout of the day. So in CrossFit we have benchmark workouts and we also have hero workouts. So Colin Rochel sent me through this last night, so thank you for that Colin. Uh, all CrossFit gyms across the UK will be doing this one today. Um, it is called the NHS, all right? And this is to honor all those men and women who are doing a, a fantastic job uh, keeping the country going right now and working endless hours. So, the NHS was formed on the 5th of July 1948, okay, and we all do 12 rounds of the exercises. The 12 rounds represent the hours uh, on average that they're doing per day. Some are doing a lot more than that, um, but on average 12 hours a day. Um, so that's why we're doing 12 rounds of these exercises. So we've got five of one exercise, which represents the seven of another exercise, which represents July, and then 19. 48, so 19, 48 there, so 19 of another exercise, 48 of another exercise. So I'll go straight into explaining the exercises. Sorry, I'm talking really fast because I'm, I'm worried things are going to get blown over here. So the first, first exercise is handstand push-ups. I appreciate that some of you can't do handstand push-ups, so then we can change it and do press-ups. So you have, you have to do 10 press-ups, you have to double the exercise there. If you can't, and then from there we go into devil press, so we do seven devil press. If you can't do the devil press, you can do 14 burpees instead, so you double again, again the exercise. So devil press, you need dumbbells for this one, or you can uh, put a couple of head things that are the same weight, heavy in your hands. So from there, I'm going to step out and do this, and hopefully this won't fall on me. Okay, so devil press, dumbbells start on the floor, chest between them. So you get into a squat position from there, swing the dumbbells through your legs and then snatch them above your head. Then back down again, dumbbells on the floor, chest on the floor there, swing through above your head. And that is a devil press. Burpees when you walk, or what they are, because we've been doing lots of those this week. 19 weighted squats, so if you want to get a weight uh, of any kind, if you made a weight jump yesterday, so 30 or 40 kilos, um, 19 weighted squats like this, making sure you keep your chest up. If you don't want to use a weight, then you have to double it and do 38 air squats. So the air squat, again, like I've just shown you, 38 of those. And the last one, and then the 48 part is 48 double unders, single skips, or star jumps. So if you have a skipping rope, you've got to make sure the rope passes through your feet twice through. So from there, start your skipping from there. So that's your double unders, single skips, just when it passes through once. 
can only do those just do star jumps. Uh, great fun, have some great fun doing these workouts. You can do one today and one tomorrow, or you can hit them both today. Stay safe, everybody.